Cadillac has done what it should have done to the Escalade nearly two decades ago, giving it a full-size SUV. Cadillac also tweaked the Escalade's suspension and braking systems, adjusting its air springs and adaptive dampers, reducing the body movements of this SUV's elephant at the slightest sacrifice to ride quality. and six-piston Brembo front brake calipers, a firmer and more responsive brake pedal, despite the Escalade V's brake pedal we drove around Arizona. The same rubber Cadillac fits all Escalades, and is the only setup offered on the Escalade V. The V-brake strap stayed more consistent throughout testing, resisting fading, and without the brake overheating warning that popped up like it did when testing the lower Escalades. While the Cadillac treatment did result in a better handling Escalade, the one in standard form we'll give you is already one of the more athletic examples of its kind. The pleasure that comes from being behind the wheel of this body on frame Cadillac. Still far from what is offered by unibody competitors such as the Mercedes AMG GLS 63 and BMW Alpina XB7. With the help of standard all-wheel drive and a 10-speed automatic transmission, this explosive V8 propels the standard wheelbase Escalade V to 60 miles per hour in 4.3 seconds to 1.7 seconds quicker than the 420 horsepower Escalade Sport Platinum 2022. At high speed, the system exhales with a loud crack and burst when you suddenly release the gas pedal. Here's a brief explanation from us, hopefully this is useful and sorry if there are errors in the contents of the video, please comment below.